so we have finally made it. We are getting close to entering West Yellowstone. We just stopped at the Yellowstone National Park sign. Maggie's getting her camera out of the camper. We're gonna take a picture. Uh, this morning we, we, so we stayed last night at a KOA in Livingston, Montana, and it was really pretty too. Uh, that's what you probably saw in the opening Daddy. footage of this video of us traveling along that road. So it was a really pretty area. But we're gonna go get a picture of this sign. Then we're gonna continue on up here to check into the Westgate KOA where we're gonna be staying for four nights and begin our Yellowstone adventure. So everybody's pretty excited. Obviously very pretty and we're not even in there yet. Alright, this is our first stop. What is this place? The geyser or something? Volcanoes! Volcanoes? Real live volcanoes! Real live ones. So we're at the real live volcanoes. <laughs> so, put a chart on him. That's not a geyser. Is it like coming from the ground? Like, if you look kind of down underground, you can see the bubbles in the uh, underwater. You all see those? If you look through, if you look through the water, you actually see it bubbling out underneath. So what is that sulfur? Yeah. What do you think of that, Winston? What? What do you think of that? A little, a little volcano. You like that? A little lucky volcano. I don't know. You gotta be watching out for it. Oh my gosh, it is so. Weird. Wait, it's warm? Yeah. Come on. Here you go, here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> I'm right here and listen to it. Look at it. Dad, that is a guy to load the rail. So, so far, the biggest plus we can see coming at sunset a volcano. is you see volcanoes, and there's not very many people here. So, I'm assuming if we had came earlier in the day, because there was a big line of cars leaving when we were coming in. So, highly recommend visit in the evening. Make time to drive in before dark and at least see one or two things and avoid some crowds. We'll see how the crowds really are tomorrow. So today is a Wednesday. Uh, when, oh, it's a Friday? It's a Friday. So it's a Friday evening. So tomorrow when we come in, it'll be a Saturday during the day, which I would assume would be the busiest time. So this is one of Maggie's dreams to become to this place. What is this one called? Grand Prismic Spring. This was our second stop for our evening adventure, but it looks pretty cool. And the sunset is gonna be so pretty. I'm excited for this. So yeah, so this first one we're seeing is not even it. It's up here. So you walk up that way. You guys ready? Gosh, it looks like a map, like there's a map in there. Give me a map. We're fine, how was it? It's cold, it's getting cold, I mean. But the golden hour is golden in. So we're actually, we're actually on the southern loop. I thought we went on the northern loop, but we're heading on the southern loop. So we came in the west. Yes, and we still haven't seen Old Faithful yet. Yeah, that's kind of my turnaround. Where are we at right now? All right, let's see if we can make Old Faithful before dark and that'll be our turnaround point. All right, so day two, it's Saturday. We are entering, entering the park bright and early at 10.50 a.m. And on a Saturday, don't be like us, you'll get a line like this. So super long line, I'm sure everything will be super crowded, but we're gonna show you how it is inside the park on a Saturday.
Hey, Winston. You got your Junior Ranger badge, huh? I'm a Padre Angel. Now, what was your favorite animal? Buffaloes. Buffaloes. All right. How many badges do you have now? Five. Let me turn around. Let me see them. Yep. Cool. All right. Let's head back outside. So we are headed back to the truck. We stopped at Old Faithful again today, and the kids did their Junior Ranger program, and I uh, got their badges and Hello. got sworn in. So Winston's got his Junior Ranger hat. They have a general store here with all your gifts and souvenirs. So uh, pretty expensive. If you go to the town of Yellowstone, a lot of the stuff, if you want like a hoodie or something, is a lot cheaper. But we're gonna continue on the loop super busy here on a saturday for sure well we're back so it's actually day two when we got back yesterday it was so exhausting we got back at five we didn't record anything so today we went in later in the day and it was much better so i would suggest if you're coming to yellowstone for one get a babysitter if you have a lot of kids for two um to make sure you have plenty of snacks. And if you have one person in the group that doesn't like the outdoors or doesn't like it, it's best to leave them at home. Um, other than that, if you're going on the weekends or whatnot, really anytime, we have enjoyed going in in the afternoon and staying until kind of close to dark. We saw two bears today. You always wanna see buffalo. Um, but it's a pretty place that's just so far spaced out that there's not a lot of, uh, it's just long drives in between things. And once you see one geyser, you've seen them all. So we hit it hard today, did the entire north loop, um, mainly because I think tomorrow it's gonna be a little bit of rain. And then we'll be checking out of here on Tuesday and we're gonna be heading towards uh, Craters of the Moon in Idaho. So that is kind of... All right, so it's been a crazy few days. We wanted to wrap up this Yellowstone video. We're actually traveling in Idaho now. So, but wrapping up the Yellowstone video, we kind of didn't record a lot the past few days. We were in Yellowstone for a couple of days, but we were just exhausted by the time we left the park. Yeah, we did like five, six hour drive days in there. Yeah, we, we drove and, and we were just gonna kind of give you our review? review of Yellowstone. So you can go first. Okay. But keep in mind with this review that we're traveling with three kids under the age of 13 and Winston is just turned four. It's a lot of driving, a lot of looking at mountains, which are beautiful, but the kids get tired of that. And when we get out, after you've seen like four geysers, you've yeah, seen you've all seen the geysers all. Everything you want to see for them. Really spaced out. And yes. so it is cool to see. I would recommend it, but I would recommend coming without your children or unless your children are all outdoorsy but if you just have one child that doesn't like the outdoors that much it is just not fun in general just to give like like we like outdoors but like we cap at like a two mile hike like if it's not round trip if you have to go in and out and see the same thing again like our kids our kid gets bored um so you kind of have to keep Keep it on the move. Keep it yeah. on the move. Yeah. But other than that, like we saw, you know, Old Faithful, they earned their badges again. So they, they're racking up their, their national park badges. We got to see buffalo. We got to see elk. We got to see a deer. We got to see a bear. We got to see a trumpet you, swan. You get to see everything, but you don't see them as often as you right. think. It's such a big park here when you're driving. You don't see, you think you're going to see wildlife in every field. And, you know, granted, we came in the busiest time of year, so there's tons of traffic. Yeah. So it just slows it way down. Yeah. I would say, personally, I like Badlands better so I far. I say that, too. But, so. okay, one thing I do want to say, though, is we got to get in Badlands, where we didn't get to get in um, Yellowstone. Like, we got to go on a hike and feel it, and the kids got to explore it. I personally would not want to hike in Yellowstone with my kids, but I'm afraid, even if you have bear spray in your bear wear. Um, I have anxiety. I'm excited so, aware. But so I'll say that's different. You maybe know, one thing that next time we could add to it's like definitely a place to visit. We will be coming back hopefully before we die. And <laughs> um, but right now we are heading towards Craters of the Moon, 
uh, in that's a national park in Idaho. So we are about an hour away from there. We stopped at the playground at a soccer park and we're just letting them play, get some energy out. And then we're going to finish this drive day up. We wanted to wrap this video up. Surprisingly, our Yellowstone video is probably one of our shorter videos because we just didn't record a whole lot or we were grumpy. So anyways, thanks for watching and we will see you next week at Craters of the Moon National Park.